Hey guys, Ranger Chris here and welcome to this perfect start guide for Chongqing. Now these guides are designed so that if you watch them before going to the map, you'll have all the essential information to customize your perfect kit as well as get all your safe house items. Now Chongqing is a pretty complex map with several distinct zones. Now I'll have a link to these maps down in the description below and feel free to pause. But what we're going to do is a systematic run all through the map collecting all the essential equipment. We're going to start here at the foot of the stairs of the laundromat. The easy way to recognize this is these two lions which you're going to see at the foot of the stairs. Make your way there first. Grab the coin right next to the stairs and then head upstairs to the karaoke bar. You're going to grab another coin off the counter. Now head into the laundromat. At the back of the laundromat you're going to find an iron and a soap. These are good distractions, you're going to grab them both. Head to where the sleeping guard is by the front door, put a coin on the ground and throw the soap to distract him. He's going to go and investigate the coin, quickly run behind him, grab the emetic red poison and the umbrella from the office. As you're heading out, steal the coin back from his pocket. Now head to this locked door. The code is 0118. Once you open the door, head up the stairs, crouch running the whole time, grab the soda can and then you're going to come across a dumpling chef uh, disguise here. You don't need this, it's just a backup if you get compromised. Now, once you're at the top of the stairs, take a left and go behind these stairs here. You're going to find the crowbar. This is the only real crowbar in this mission. Now, get out of the laundromat, go down the stairs, and the first building here on your left is the apartment complex. Now, you're going to head up the stairs to the first apartment, but be careful. There is a tenant who is going to be sleeping inside most of the time. You're going to brush the door with the crowbar and quickly move aside so that she doesn't spot you. Just wait for her to come and investigate the doorway, turn around and go inside, knock her out with one of your items and you can put her body in the crate. In the apartment you'll find a driftwood log as well as several coins on the table. Now if you leave this apartment and go one floor up, you'll reach the ICA apartment. The code again is 0118. Now you can find a soda can and a kitchen knife in here but more importantly this is a very good secluded location to bring suspects in a showdown to. So I just showed you that to remember. Now head down the street, you're going to reach this arcade building. In this little alleyway here, you're going to find a brick. Take the brick, under the brick is an arcade key. Immediately unlock this door, this back room. Inside you're going to find a screwdriver as well as a street guard disguise. You're going to switch into this disguise now. Turn and head into the arcade itself. You'll find a coin by the front door which you can grab. And then you're going to head out the back door of the arcade into this uh, lot and you're going to find a wrench lying on a trash can and right next to you is going to be this keypad it's going to open up a hatch to the ICA facility the code is 2552 don't need to go down this hatch right now head back into the arcade and into the room where you had that disguise the code for this door again is 2552 all the codes in this mission is 0118 or 2552 now this is the block or the clinical research building you're just going to head around the corner grab the fire extinguisher you can use that to blow open a safe or uh, create an accident distract the guard in this clinic with any item and sneak by behind him you're going to head into the bathroom as i'm showing you here turn the sink on quickly this should distract the researcher to come over Hide in the box and wait for him to come over to the sink. At which point you're going to knock him out and you'll have access to the researcher disguise which is a good disguise for the rest of this building. Remember to grab the emetic rat poison in the corner and stash his body in the crate. Now the other researcher in here will be able to recognize you so use the instinct to make sure that her back is turned before you get out of this room and take a left. At the end of this hallway is a locked door. You're going to use your crowbar and bust it. Head up these stairs. At the top of these stairs, take a left. And at the end of this hallway is going to be a surveillance device. There's one enforcer. Make sure he goes to this position, which is facing the sleeping guy. Sneak run up to the um, recorder and destroy it. That first room which you came up the stairs has three people in here. You're just going to head in and around the corner. I'm just showing you how to grab the fuse cell which will use the power hush's chair. Now go up to the next floor and sneak behind this guard who's facing the other way. This room full of treatment parts just sneak through like this. You're going to make your way for that table at the end of the room which has a stethoscope on it which you can use as a fiber wire. 
Once you grab this, take a right and head out this door into the outside where there is a propane flask for accident kills. Head up the ladder and there is a ventilation system here which you can poison. This will affect Hush's chair once you power it with the fuse cell. Again, that's more for the base game. Open the roof door with the code 2552 and um, you'll have access to the final treatment area. Now that we've explored this building, let's head back out into that arcade alley. We're going to make our way to the ICA facility. So I'm just showing you here, you run up the ramp, take a circle around to where the umbrella woman is. This is the spot where you have that great conversation overlooking the pier. Run past the two chefs here and you're going to head down the stairs to this narrow alley. Here you're going to find the ICA facility security guard. You're going to knock him out, drag his body over to this dumpster and place him inside. You're going to take the security disguise for now, it's a good one for getting into the building. The cameras should be off, you can use the crowbar and bust the door, no one will hear you. Now I'm showing you, take a right as soon as you go down the stairs. It can be hard to orient yourself with the map sometimes in this area. Now you're going to open these various vents and doors with your camera. That's what the camera symbol is in your map when you check. However, not all doors and vents can be hacked. You're going to need the relevant security dongle and that's what we're going to do. We're going to steal the level 1 security dongle here in this office. Then grab the banana. Head to the copying room here and there is a chloroform flask for your safe house on this shelf. Make sure you grab that. Now you're going to bypass the frisk zone here by heading through this door. And here is the door leading down to level 2 but you don't have access so head around to the right side, hack this door and on the table over there is going to be a level 2 security dongle. Before leaving this area, you want to head around to the back, make your way into the dressing room and inside you're going to find an analyst disguise. This is a pretty good disguise for getting down to level 2 of the ICA facility. If you wish, you may head out into the lobby area here and in the changing room there is going to be a banana which you can grab. Now head back to that locked door which we were at earlier and with the new security clearance you should be able to open it. Now head down the stairs, take a right. We're going to go to the second security room. All the way down the right wing here, I'm going to show you the surveillance recorder which right now is inactive because you already destroyed one but if you started here, you can destroy this one instead. Create a distraction for the guard at the surveillance recorder. Take him out and put his body in that closet in the bathroom. You're going to take his disguise. This is going to be a very strong disguise, the facility guard disguise and also grab the ICA submachine gun raptor for your safe house. That's your second collectible. Open the armory door which is right next to the recorder and grab the tier 3 security dongle. If you are interested you can use either the Fusil X2000 or the Batoli here or the Batoli handguns if you like for your safe house. Now as soon as you come out of the security room take a right and go down to the lowest level of the facility and you're going to have a screwdriver and sometimes a chloroform flask in this room. And the last thing I'm showing you is just how to use these vents to navigate your way around this uh, core area. You can access the data core through these vents. So up to this point, I've already shown you where all the essential items are, essential shortcuts. There are lots of other pathways you can use in this map, including this one here, which I'm showing you right next to the data core. You're going to have this vent, which if you open and head inside, you'll arrive at a ladder, which will take you back to the arcade back lot giving you a very nice circle to navigate so now you have all the essential information you need to customize the perfect hit so go get them because you're awesome i hope you enjoyed this video please remember to like and subscribe take care and i'll see you next time have you seen a girl around she says she meet me here sorry